What we're interested in here at Aintree is, is in obesity as, as a health problem. Uh, obesity uh, affects um, a very large number of people, probably nearly a quarter of the people in the United Kingdom are uh, currently uh, obese, uh, and nearly half are, are, are either obese or overweight. Um, and the problem is, is not just the cosmetic problem, it's actually the, the diseases that are associated with obesity, and we're particularly here interested in, in diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which is very strongly associated with obesity. And as the population is, is getting fatter um, and, and has more adipose tissue, uh, then the rates of diabetes are climbing very, very rapidly indeed. We see hundreds of patients with weight problems and with diabetes and related complications. From our research experience, we know that a little weight loss has a big impact on the body and on the health. And the weight will come down with prolonged efforts. But once patients do lose weight, you wouldn't imagine their smile on the face when they come to clinic and they're able to stop or reduce their blood pressure tablet and reduce their blood sugar tablet. And it just can't be said enough. Their health is so much improved and so is their quality of life. They're able to go out more, they're able to enjoy life more and they get some life back. There are two ways to estimate the amount of adipose tissue an individual may have. One way is to look at body mass index. A healthy range is normally between 18 and 25. However, a more accurate way to calculate fat mass is to use a bioimpedance scale. Elizabeth will now kindly demonstrate this for us. We will enter her height and weight into the scale. She will then stand on the scales in her bare feet and this will give us a reading of her fat mass. As a result of the, the increasing amount of obesity, uh, we have uh, developed a very uh, specialist clinical service which is mainly designed at helping people with the more severe levels of obesity. Clearly, as, as, a hospi as hospital specialists, we can't see a quarter of the population. So we're focusing our attention on those who have uh, the most severe degrees of obesity or who have a number of uh, medical problems that are associated with obesity and we try and help them in, in a whole variety of ways both to improve their lifestyle, their diets, their physical activity. Uh, we sometimes use uh, drugs uh, in accordance with uh, guidelines to help people uh, lose weight and keep it off and sometimes we do refer patients for surgery. The main aspects of our research uh, relate to how uh, obesity leads to these medical conditions and whether we can develop interventions uh, that might actually help people uh, lose weight more effectively. We're particularly interested in hormones that are made in fat tissue. In the past, fat tissue was seen as being a rather passive uh, store in the body for fat, but we, we now know that it, it actually produces a whole range of uh, chemicals and hormones that have effects all over the body, uh, and these can actually contribute to uh, conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure uh, and cancer, uh, for example. Uh, and so our research is, is looking at that, but it's also looking at some of the hormones that are involved in controlling uh, how hungry we feel and, and, and whether we feel full after meals, which may eventually uh, lead to new treatments to actually help people lose weight.